at what point are we doing too much follow-up after hearing nothing back and being ghosted by the buyer? How hard should we push this conversation and sale? Find out what to do next in today's show. Welcome back to year four, this weekly edition every Friday of the Japan Business Mastery Show. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story, Dale Carnegie, franchise owner, Tokyo, master trainer, president of Dale Carnegie Tokyo Training and best-selling author of Japan Sales Mastery, Japan Business Mastery and Japan Presentations Mastery. Zaegyo is the Japanese translation of Japan Sales Mastery. My new book is Stop Wasting Money on Training or in Japanese, Training de Okane o Buru ni Suru no wa Yamimashou. We are bringing the show to you from our studio in the High Performance Center in Akasaka in Minatoku, the business center of Tokyo. This is episode number 196, and we are talking about pushing buyers. Before you're going, a quick word from our sponsor. If you want to sell more and do it more easily, do the Winning with Relationship Selling course. If you can't build trust, no sale. Can't design excellent questions to understand the client's needs, no sale. Can't present the solution convincingly, no sale. Can't handle objections properly, no sale. Can't close, no sale. Master the sales process by doing the Winning with Relationship Selling course now in either Japanese or English. bestseller, Japan Sales Mastery, is the new bible of selling in Japan. To sell to Japanese buyers, you need to create long-term partner-level trust, fully understand Japanese buyers' real needs, convince buyers with your solutions, overcome their hesitation, fear and doubt, know how to ask for the order, ensure repeat orders. This book is a product of 30 plus years in the trenches, selling in Japan. Order Japan Sales Mastery now. Welcome back. Okay, now it's time for the show. So let's get going. Pushing buyers. Pushy salespeople are very, very annoying. They don't bug you into buying. None of us like it. We may actually buy, but we don't like them anymore and probably won't become a repeat buyer. Fair enough, but what about when you are the salesperson? At what point should we give up on convincing the buyer that our solution is the best one for them? Having made the presentation, listened carefully to what they want, we go back to the office and put together our proposal. We survey the broad range of possible solutions available, select from that treasure trove, and painstakingly assemble a logical, pertinent, and high value convincing roadmap for moving forward. This is when the problems start. We go through the detail, answer any questions, and the client invariably says, okay, we'll study it. This is when things can go silent. We hear nothing. So after a week or so, we email a gentle nudge, a reminder to the client. We could phone them, except that today, trying to get hold of busy decision makers is fraught with difficulty. They are permanently in meetings or they are traveling. What do we do? One strategic idea with that previously mentioned first email is to create a threat Go back to a previous email exchange, predating presenting the solution, and copy that into this email. So the email trail is there. This implies, hey, I've been emailing you, buddy, but you didn't respond this time without saying it directly. Some clients may genuinely not be interested and prefer silence to end the discussion rather than having to confront you with a no. 
one of the rules in sales is never say no for the other guy. But what are we looking at here? Is this no interest or no relevance or is it no time? We don't want to be relegated to the annoying pushy sales guy or gal bin for permanent disposal. We want to preserve our good reputation and personal brand, so we want to avoid becoming a pain. I believe we should try once more. We should give them a call, knowing the chances of connecting are low to miserable. Next, we should send that email thread again and add to it, asking about the next steps. Have they made a decision? What is the current status? And asking them to please get back to us. What if they still don't respond? We are now into the pushy salesperson territory. I recommend we wait for a week. If there's no response, then try to phone again. And if that fails, leave another message and send a final email. We may have lost the battle, but we don't want to lose the war by burning the relationship with the client, by being pushy and becoming annoying. Take heart. We need to come back and fight our end another day. We need our good name preserved in the marketplace when they talk about us to other potential buyers. We need them to feel comfortable to deal with us in the future. We have to develop our patience muscle and play the long game. I hope you enjoyed today's show and so please subscribe on YouTube, share with your family, friends and colleagues. Become a regular. Hit the little bell icon to receive update notifications. Our website details are on screen now www.dale-carnegie.co.jp. It's packed with value, so certainly check it out. We try to offer as much value as possible, so you might also enjoy our other shows. In fact, we are releasing content six days a week for podcast Mondays for the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, Tuesday for the Presentations Japan series, and every second Tuesday for the Business of Tatsujin no Oshie Show, Wednesdays for the Sales Japan series, Thursdays for the Leadership Japan series, and every second Thursday for the Business Pro Podcast Show, Fridays for the Japan Business Mastery Show, and Saturdays for Japan's top business interviews. Now you get these wherever you get your podcast. Also, every Monday, we release the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. Every second Thursday, we release the Business Pro Television Show. And every Friday, the Japan Business Mastery Show. Saturdays, every Saturday, we are releasing Japan's top business interviews. These are all on YouTube. We appreciate your support and please let others know about it so they can benefit too. We want to make a contribution to helping people build their careers and businesses. And so please join with us in that endeavor. In episode number 197, we are talking about how to do impromptu talks. Onagai Tashimas. Please join me next week to master business here because. That is what we all want, isn't it? Japan business mastery.